In 2006 a man was lost in Kiev, Ukraine, with a strange dress and a camera in his hand as if he were a tourist. He claimed that he came from the past, that he had left his house to take some photos, when he observed a UFO, and after photographing it he found himself in the future. An extraordinary case of which there are documents and photographs, in addition to the analyzes of the psychologist Parlo Kutrikov, and of the photographic development expert Vadim Posner. Research indicates that he would have traveled from the past by jumping into the future half a century, possibly due to the presence of a UFO. In Russia the telecanal One Plus One presented the video of the existence of the case of Sergei Paramarenko, in the documentary Time Traveler, where it is related that on April 23, 2006 a man of 25 years of age was disoriented walking aimlessly with a camera in the hand through the streets of Kiev. When the police approached him I asked for a street that by then no longer existed. The police asked him to identify himself. The man showed them legitimate official documents from the time of the Soviet Union, more than 50 years old. His name was Sergei Paramarenko. The cops treated him like he was insane. He was arrested and taken to a psychiatric clinic in Kiev. There, Dr. Paul Kutrikov investigated Sergei. The consultation of April 26, 2006 was videotaped. P. Kutrikov, what do you think if you tell me something about yourself? S. Paramarenko, my name is Sergei Paramanenko, I was born in the city of Kiev on June 16, 1932. P. Kutrikov, yes. But I would assure you that you are not over 30 years old. S. Paramarenko, I am 25 years old. Identity document of Sergei Paramarenko. Legitimate documents from the era of the Soviet Union. The doctor asked Sergei how he appeared in 2006 and that was when he told about the photo he took of the UFO that he was observing. P. Kutrikov, but can you remember how it was, how did you appeared in our time? S. Paramarenko, it was on daytime, and I wanted to take a walk around the city, I took my camera but when I left my house I saw a strange object that had a bell shape, and it was very strange, and it flew in a strange way, it is difficult to explain what I was looking at, it is better to reveal the photos of my camera and then maybe we find the answer. Dr. Kutrikov decided to reveal the photos. But there was a difficulty. The development techniques for old cameras such as Sergei's were different from those revealed in the 21st century. So they had to look for an expert in photography, Vadim Poyoner, who was surprised when he reviewed that scroll that had been left unfinished in the 70s it was never possible to explain how that scroll could be kept in such good condition for more than half a century, however Poyoner managed to reveal all the photographic roll that showed images of the city of Kiev in the 1950s. Also a picture of a woman about 25 years old. And another image where Sergei Paramarenko was, even with the same clothes. The photograph that drew the most attention was where the bell-shaped UFO appeared as Sergei described it before revealing the scroll. This interview was recorded at 10.39 on the morning of April 25, 2006 P. Kutrikov, here are the revealed photos, they are from your photo apparato. I am especially interested in this photograph, take a look please. S. Paramarenko, now he is convinced that I am telling the truth. Until now I do not understand what this object is and how something like this could have happened to me at the same moment when I took the photo, I turned down the camera and it appeared in this year. Surprisingly Sergei Paramarenko told the truth, there was a photograph of the mysterious object. A UFO that was the last thing he remembers before traveling in time 50 years in the future. After talking to Dr. Kutrikov, Sergei went to his room. The security camera of the clinic caught the moment when he does, but he was never seen leaving. After the scene Paramarenko disappeared. The only exit was always guarded. The windows in the room had bars. It was impossible to escape. So they investigated and the police investigated Sergei. They confirmed that indeed during the era of the Soviet Union this man existed and that he was declared disappeared in 1960. It was discovered that the woman in the photo was Valentina Kulik, Sergei's girlfriend. 
It was discovered that he lived in Ukraine and was asked about the photos. Valentina had more pictures of when she was young and girlfriend of Paramarenko. The police told Valentina what happened to Sergei Paramarenko. And she started crying, because she never saw him again. The case of Sergei Paramarenko I will have the possibility of a UFO has caused a man to travel in time. Towards the future. An extraordinary possibility that other intelligences can control travel in time.